Hi everyone, thank you for watching. My name is Yelena from Amazonia PPC and in today's video we are going to cover the basics of using enhanced branded content on Amazon and I wanted to make like a quick tutorial to show you a couple of tips uh, on what can you do to improve your brand's awareness, increase your conversion rates and also um, gain more organic traffic on Amazon by using these predefined templates that Amazon has offered as branding tools. So what are what is enhanced branded content? This is like an additional space on your product listing page where you can you have an opportunity to explain into a lot more details to customers um, what this product is all about and a little word or two about the brand. So this usually has proven to increase conversion rates a lot. So you should definitely use it. It's like a customized product description with certain templates that Amazon offers. You can also make your own templates if you're a little bit more skilled or you hire an external source to do that for you. So um, the reasons why you should use EBC or uh, A plus content now that it's called, everything is called A plus even on Seller Central. Well, the main reasons are because it improves your conversion rates. It's proven that to to raise conversion rates when you use EBC content, uh, simply because you share a lot more information about the product and you uh, have an additional opportunity to reiterate on the bullet points, maybe something that you consider is very important for them to know about the product, or you have an extra space to add more images and stuff like that. So improved conversion rates would definitely be one of the main reasons to use EBC content. Then also it increases your brand awareness. So in one part of the EBC, there, there should be some kind of reserved space for you to represent your brand and your brand's core values and message and uh, just in general, um, make some additional type of content that will be consist consistent to what you have on your e-commerce website so that you sort of use Amazon's traffic as additional platform for generating brand awareness and loyal customers, which is very important. Then also the third main reason is uh, that you get to rank for as many organic keywords as possible. So if you have like a long list of uh, long tail keywords that don't have like as much volume as your main core keywords, and you already used your core keywords in the product title, bullet points where they're most prominent and visible and they will have greatest impact on ranking. Uh, like an additional sidekick for that would be using long tail keywords to um, implement them uh, into your enhanced branded content. So this is very important because it will uh, assure you organic ranking for all of these long tail keywords that the competition maybe didn't remember to use. So this would be like a third big reason why you should uh, have EBC content or A-plus content as a mandatory part of your uh, strategy for branding and also for increased conversion rates. In this video, we're going to cover six main um, tips and tricks and stuff that you should use in your EBC content to leverage its maximum potential. But before we dive right into it, it's important to know for you, uh, for you to know that uh, you should be brand registered in order to use EBC content. Otherwise, you are not going to be allowed to use this. You're not going to have this option. So make sure you uh, sign up for uh, your for the brand registry and uh, take the time to wait and get approved before you dive right into it. Um, we have seen so many brands do this wrong or do not even do it like they don't uh, they, they totally neglect it and don't really realize the importance of uh, enhanced branded content for their conversion rates so um, I have opened up something like seven or eight different examples that I will show you at the end of this video uh, I will try and find some mistakes that they are doing with their EBC um, and just uh, try and uh, explain to you in a bit more in examples how it all works because that's how I learned best through our work and uh, through different examples and just seeing what could have done, what could have been done better. So um, first rule, first hack that we have is that you have a thousand words. You have um, option to use a thousand words in your EBC content. So make sure that uh, you put 
as many keywords as possible. Don't duplicate, don't overstuff, but as many keywords as possible, preferably long tail in this EBC content where you have an opportunity to use a thousand words. So that's like really a big piece of information. And you, like, for example, in this example, they don't use a lot of content at all. They might be doing some other things well, but like when you can see here in the product description and then in the A-plus content, they uh, maybe have like total of 2,000 words, 200 words. So this is not, not a good example. In this other example, they're also not doing a good job with a lot of um, a lot of content. So thousand words, thousand words is something that's um, copy. If you have so much copy in your your content, then uh, understanding about your product by your customers is going to be very strong. So make sure to put everything there is to know about the product in your EBC copy because that's your chance to do it. So so use it and. Um, Make sure to kind of like structure your EBC content so that here at the top, um, at the top, you will get as specific information about the product as possible. And this is, uh, for example, a good example that they have done it uh, at the beginning of their EBC content, their plus content, um, but they haven't used the proper layout. This could have been organized a lot nicer so that it has like this user experience moment to it. At the moment, it doesn't, but what they actually did right was um, mention as many specific information about the product that they actually could, like specifications, like the dimensions and uh, cord length and weight and stuff like that. It's very important for our average customer to know. Then what's included in the packages and how it applies and some additional notes. That's very nice. That's what, something that you should usually put at the beginning of your EBC content, which is what they actually did, but they could have done it in a much better visual way, so to speak. So that would be like one idea for this brand. Then at the middle of your content, you should use some kind of like category wording or something that's a topic that's common for your category. Like they, they did this very, very nicely. Like for example, cats love being high. This is a product that um, basically sells cat, it's a cat furniture for cats to climb and you know just like kind of skip your couch, skip your own couch and use their own uh, space. Here you can see what the product is so you can understand the context. It's a cat window perch where they can like climb and be high and um, you know just stick to their own space. And uh, here in the middle of their EBC content, after that first top section where they kind of like explain into a lot of details um, what the product actually is and the specifics and everything that's very, very specific to the product itself, they slowly moved uh, in their middle part of their EBC content, they moved to that ca category piece of the copy that explains maybe why they decided to sell specifically this product and what kind of like a problem it solves and in general something that's very specific to the category so stuff like cats love being up high they love living in the, laying in the sun um, that this product can hold up to amazing 50 pounds which is really amazing so um, there there's this additional um, USB that says let the cat feel your love it's like an emotional point to it so all of this, this is a very wide range, but you should think of in a direction where um, kind of like need to represent what this whole category is all about. So if you have like a well-defined niche, this will work really well for you. This part, you should be very inspired. Um, so this part, they already have covered, but there's this third part that they haven't used EBC content at all for any kind of branding purposes. They haven't worked, I can tell that they haven't worked with any kind of professional copywriter or any kind of graphic designer to make this right. So uh, someone entered their logo and some kind of like generic background that's at the beginning of this EBC. And then below you have still have nothing in particular to showcase for the brand. And that's exactly at the bottom of EBC listings what uh, you should do. Like you should... Uh, implement as many branding elements as possible to make the most out of the EBC content. So um, 
Let me try and find some examples here, if we can. There's this another company, they didn't do anything um, for branding at all either. Let me see this third listing. Also, so I've discovered that uh, not a lot of uh, customer, not a lot of Amazon sellers are aware of the possibilities for branding that they could actually use through EVC or so-called now uh, A plus content. So like for example, these guys, they did some branding elements to their EVC content, but they started off with it, which is the wrong way to start off. You really want to make sure that your product specifications are at the beginning, category characteristics are in the middle of your EVC listing, and then you have some kind of branding elements like logo or awards or notable appearances and stuff like that at the bottom of your EVC listing. So they did it right by using uh, branding elements, but in the wrong place. So uh, that will be like the first part. Um, the first kind of rule is to use that structure, top, middle, bottom uh, placements for different types of content and use at least a thousand words copy in it because you are entitled to and make sure use the maximum out of it because it will really, really help your organic ranking for certain long tail keywords. Keep that in mind. The second rule is to use keywords, uh, which is um, using keywords in, uh, in, in your images as well, which is something that not a lot of sellers know about. When you add your images to the EVC listing, there's, an, uh, there's a special space for you called alt text. This means that you, whatever you enter in, in that description about the image should be ranked and should be indexed by Amazon. And, uh, used for ranking purposes. So um, you, this is a very good place for you to use stuff like synonyms or maybe misspellings or additional attributes about the product or something like that you can't really use in that front end text. Uh, you can use in the alt text simply because it's in the back end. It's not something that your customers can see, but it's definitely used for ranking. Um, for example, Amazon nowhere mentions they, they nowhere mentioned that they actually use this for ranking purposes but we have tested this a lot and it actually does help uh, ranking when you use alt text in your ebc content so it's extremely important space for you like an additional space and make sure you use it so uh, aside from using keywords in your front end that your customers can see and read um, make sure to use your alt text uh, to kind of like improve your organic ranking even further. There are a lot of examples where um, a misspelling can generate a lot of traffic for you and give you that kind of like competitive edge in front of your competitors simply because they haven't thought of this little simple uh, hack like using a misspelling in your alt text. Uh, that would be the second rule. Third rule is to take up as much space as possible. So I mentioned that we have a, we, you have an opportunity to use at least a thousand words. So make sure to use uh, that text, if possible, at the bottom as much as possible. Like these guys over here, they did. Like you have this um, page space for yourself. And after your EBC content, if it's short, then uh, again, you will see the competitors listings below and all of these items are going to be comparable and simple so um, it's not something you want to give that easily you to your competitors like if if they have uh, if users can scroll down uh, through your EBC and it's long and it's uh, attention grabbing then you're not gonna give away that easily especially if there's like an additional uh, space of text like I'm circling around here that is consuming the space and kind of like separating your listing uh, from the the compare items section which is all the way down so this is something that we have tested and it really works it improves conversion rates and keeps your uh, customers focused on your listing so you don't want to make sure you don't want to make your listing short at the bottom or images at the bottom like these guys did over there. Luckily, they have product descriptions before their um, compare items section so that they are kind of like separated, but they probably didn't do it on purpose. 
So after this image, ideally, like these little kitty cats, um, you should have like an additional big pile of text that will separate, that will not only engage with the customers and explain what the brand is all about, but also like kind of like separate from the compare item section so that you keep your customers focused on your own listing, not kind of like dissipate their attention and leave them out to your competition. That would definitely be the rule number three. Rule number four is to focus on the brand identity. This is something that's a little bit more advanced. Not a lot of sellers know about this or know a lot, a lot about branding in general. So I, I'm hoping that you, when you started selling on Amazon, that you had branding in mind and like wanted to expand and create a brand on Amazon. So along with the brand identity, you should have some kind of like colors and certain style and messaging that belongs to your brand that you already use in a very cohesive way in your e-commerce website. So this can kind of like easily be transferred over to your EBC content. Like if your colors are green and your, um, none of these examples that I actually found are good examples in that area. So when you, um, when you're working with this kind of like brand identity part of the EBC content, make sure you hire some very professional graphic designer, someone who can actually help you um, either define your coloring, your messaging, and your style, either refine it like and, and make it visible on your uh, EBC content simply because this is very important for you to build your brand, brand loyalty. And it's always cheaper for a seller to acquire a repeated sale rather than one that came through their listing for the first time. So this is something that's that's uh, usually very helpful to make sure to focus on your brand identity and make a, like a cohesive EBC that will um, be consistent in colors and messaging around your brand. So. Um, if I find any good examples on Amazon, I will be sure to put them in our product description and show you exactly what I meant by that. Let me see um, that in any case, we might have something like that. These guys are close to that. Like for example, they have big uh, logo placed here and they're very consistent with showing images, but still not a very, very good um, brand identity here present, aside from these little green places Three, three little green icons. That's that's not even a good example either. So I'm going to find some good examples and show it to you. Maybe this one would be like, as you can see, they're like, they have like this funny feeling to it, and they are uh, like a little bit of comic, but like adjusted for for pets, for people who like pets, and they showcase showcase what uh, the features of the products, which is really good. And here, down here, you can also see that it's very consistent. Their images are very consistent and uh, the creative for images, the infographics are very consistent. So that would be a very good example of brand um, consistency. So that's, um, that's one big point that I wanted to go over. Then our fifth example would be to um, basically showcase your bullet points and reiterate on them visually. This is very important. Like um, in this example here, this is probably one of the best TBC examples I could find so far. You can see that here, um, this seller has really down to the point bullet points and they are reiterating them uh, through the hands branded content visually. Like, you know that a lot of customers, they are kind of like scanning through the page. They're not reading it. They're skimming through the information and you need to make it easy for them to realize some of the, the to figure out what are the best uh, product features that you can offer them. And uh, visual content is really helpful because it um, keeps their attention in place. So, for example, um, they are offering additional pieces of information in the visual content, which is uh, usually a lot more digestible for humans than text. There's a lot of text, a lot of things to read, it takes time. So what they did here is actually uh, reiterated on the bullet points uh, in, the, in a different way. So they use a different format for the same content, 
but actually um, did a very good job by, you know, showcasing these additional features. So make sure you do that too. And also one big um, sixth and our last uh, example here and our tip for you would be um, to make sure you address the customer concerns. This is also the space for you to address the customer concerns because there are customer concerns and to find some really good ideas to kind of like address what they're what they have doubts about. Uh, make sure to read your competitors listings and go through specifically the social proof of their competitors their listings such as uh, answered questions and reviews if you see that there is some kind of like functionality of their product that customers are complaining about or mm, something that doesn't exist and you are offering it on the other end then make sure to showcase that because they will remember it when they compare your product to the competitors products and this might end up uh, giving you a win over that sale so uh, make sure you do your research and continuously write and update your ABC content, your A-plus content. This is something that's not a one-off. It's not something that you can do and it's done. It's, uh, it's all about continuous testing. Um, you can uh, use our best practices, the six ones that I've just mentioned, and kind of like uh, start off there. But you can know, only you can know best what works for your product and just kind of like continuously update your ABC content and make sure to test and uh, compare uh, different versions of what works and what doesn't work for your product specifically. So when I say um, addressing customer concerns, that would be uh, something like whether products durable or is there a way to uh, how they will implement, uh, how they will install the product or there's like a user manual to do it or what kind of material is it uh, made of, whether it's a natural material or something that people might be allergic to, or if it's food, then if it's safe for some kind of people who are allergic to certain foods and stuff like that. This is, um, the list is endless and it really boils down to what your product is. So it boils down to well knowing your product and uh, hopefully you have thought the whole product design process through and you know what your product unique selling propositions are spe specifically compared to the competition. So this is the part where you kind of like use your space, your own space that Amazon is giving you to stand out from the competition. So um, that being said, there it seems to me that there is more than enough reasons for you to use EBC content and improve it if you have it, and then continuously improve it day after day um, for all of your products, because this is something that will, will certainly increase your conversion rates. It will certainly provide you more organic ranking for a variety of keywords, and it will most certainly strengthen your brand position in Amazon Marketplace, which is uh, something that's like the end goal because we want to have all of those loyal, loyal customers much rather than what we want to fight for the new ones continuously. So um, that being said, I hope you found a lot of value in this video and that you will apply some of our tips. Um, until next week, thank you for watching and stay tuned.